Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher from Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, Northamptonshire, England. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use drag and drop with your images. So if I just quickly open up my application. You notice here we've got something similar from before. We've got our ellipses. We've got an instructions text box which I showed you how to use in a previous lesson and we've got our image which is called image 1. Now what I'm going to show you is how to get this image to move around and follow your right hand when your left hand is above your head so kind of like a drag and drop so if you put your left hand down it will stop. So I'm just going to show you so if we just open up the code You'll notice on here, you've got the standard stuff that you've always had to get the skeletal tracking working. And then you've got the gesture, which does everything. This is what detects what it's doing and tells it to do things. Now, like with the previous lesson, I'm just going to get you to copy and paste this in, because we need to convert it to a vector. Copy and paste that in. Now if I'm I'm going to use my right hand again, so I want hand right, hand right, and hand right again, hand right. Now underneath this I want it to detect if my left hand's above my head, and if my left hand is above my head, it's going to get the picture to follow my right hand. So what I'm going to do is if hand left dot position dot y is greater than head position y then and the reason why it's got to be greater than the head position because if you imagine the head is one of the highest points so if your hands above your head it's going to tell it to do something so canvas dot set left Alright, so we're going to set where it is, whether it's left and right. Image 1, because that's what the pitch is called. Hand right dot position dot x. Now make sure this one you call canvas set top. Because a lot of people here make the mistake of going set right and getting carried away. So image 1, hand right dot position dot y. So now if I press play, you'll see it r running. So now if my left hand goes above my head, you can see my right hand is controlling the apple. So watch if I put my left hand down now. And if I put my left hand above my head again, it follows it. So you could do something similar, but when you get speech recognition working, what you could do is if you say Apple, then it follows your hand. So that you can be more specific about which item you want to move. If I press stop. I hope that's been useful and I hope it's gave you some ideas about how you could make a drag and drop application for your classroom. Thanks for your time and I hope it was helpful.